Good morning students. Let us start with our exercise 3.1. We are doing question number 2 first. Organize the following marks in a class assessment in a tabular form. Now we have to arrange these marks in tabular form. Now see, these are the marks given here. Chalo. See here, 1 marks. How many students got? Only 1. So, put the tally marks and write here number of students. Now see, 2 marks. How many students got? 1, 2. So, we will put the tally marks like this. We will write here 2. Next is 3. Check here. Only 1 student got. So, 1, 1. 4 marks. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Right here, 3. Next is 5. See here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 5 students. Then 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then 7. 1, 2 students. 2 students. 8. 1. Only 1 student. 1. 9. Only 1 student. 1. Now you can check this. See. 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 1, 4. 4 plus 3, 7. 7 or 5, 12. 12 plus 4, 16. 16 plus 2, 18, 19 and 20. Okay. Which number is the highest? See here. Which number is the highest? 9. So, 9 is the highest number. Highest number. Which number is the lowest? 1. 1 is the lowest number. Question C. What is the range of the data? Now how to find range? Range is equal to highest number minus lowest number. So, range is equal to highest number minus lowest number. Lowest number. Now see, highest number is 9 and the lowest number is 1. So, 9 minus 1 is equal to 8. Therefore, range is equal to 8. Is it clear? Next is find the arithmetic mean. The formula to find arithmetic mean is Total marks divided by number of students. Now see from here, how many students got 1 marks? Only 1. So, 1 into 1 is 1. Plus, how many students got 2 marks? 2. That means 2 into 2, 4. Plus, 1 student got 3 marks. 3 plus 4. 4 marks, 3 students got. So, 4 into 3. 12 plus 5 students got 5 marks. So 5 5s are 25 plus 4 students got 6 marks. So 6 into 4, 
24 plus 2 students got 7 marks. So 2 into 7, 14 plus 1 student got 8 marks. So 8 plus 1 student got 9 marks. 9. Now when you do the total of this, you will get 100 marks. So, 100 divided by number of students. See, 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 1, 4. 4 plus 3, 7. 7 plus 5, 12. 12 plus 4, 16. 18, 19 and 20. Now, when we divide, we will get 5. So, arithmetic mean of this data is 5. Find the mean of the first five whole numbers. Now, which are the first five whole numbers? 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. First five whole numbers. Whole number. 1. 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now, find the mean. Mean is equal to sum of whole numbers divided by number of whole numbers. Number of Number. So, 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 divided by 5. 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 3, 6. 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Therefore, me. Two. Understood? Question number four. A cricketer scores the following runs in eight innings. 58, 76, 40, 35, 46, 45, 0 and 100. We have to find the mean score. Now, Mean is equal to sum of the runs divided by number of innings. 58 plus 76 plus 40 plus 35 plus 46 plus 45 plus 0 plus 100. Divide by number of innings. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now when you do the total, you will get 400. So 400 divided by 8 is 50. Therefore, mean score is equal to is equal to 50 runs. This is your homework. Some number 6 to 9 is also your homework. Exercise 3.2, question 1. The scores in mathematics test of 15 students is as follows. 19, 25, 23, 20, 9, 20 and 15, 10, 5, 16, 25, 20, 24, 12 and 20. You have to find the 
mode and median of this data and you have to say are they same now what you will do first you will arrange this data in ascending order now what is mode mode is the thing frequency which occurs most time so see here which occurs most time 20 so our mode is 20 now median what is the formula to find median n plus 1 divided by 2 n is number of observation so how many observations are here 15 so 15 plus 1 by 2 is equal to 16 by 2 so our 8th observation is the median now see from here which is 8th observation 1 2 3 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, now, median is 20. Now, are they same? Yes. Mode is also 20. Median is also 20. Question number 2 and 4. This is your homework. Question number 3. The weight in kg of 15 students of a class are 38, 42, 35, 37, 45, 50, 32, 43, 43, 40, 36, 38, 43, 38, 47. Now you have to find the mode and median of this data. Is there more than one more? Now, first what you will do? You will arrange the data in ascending order. Now, what is mode? Mode, the number which appears most time. Now, see, 38 and 43. So, the mode is 38 and 43. Now, median. How many observations are there? 15. So, n plus 1 by 2 is equal to 15 plus 1 by 2. 16 by 2 is equal to 8. So, 8th observation is the median. Now, see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, Median is equal to 40. Now, our next question is, is there more than one more? Yes, see, there are two modes. Question number 5, true or false? This is your homework. 